Greetings and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I made this delicious lentil and potato stuffed peppers. So first I'm going to start off with some organic French lentils. I bought this in Costco. Lentils are my go-to beans. They cook so quick that, you know, if you're rushing to cook, is the perfect one to use. So first I'm going to wash them. You always have to make sure when you have, when you're preparing um, dry beans, you have to make sure you wash it good. Make sure, you know, take out any debris and, it, and everything. So I'm going to add this to some fresh water and boil it up. I'm going to add some fresh thyme, some chopped red onions, some diced potatoes, you have to make sure you mix that in and add enough water. Well, I'm going to use some coconut milk. I'm just going to add some coconut milk in there. And that creaminess from the coconut milk will be everything. Some Old Bay seasoning to give it some extra flavor. Some organic no salt seasoning, which I put in everything. <laughs> some ground turmeric. couple of bay leaves and just mix it around to make sure all the flavors are soaked into those beans and look what I got from my garden a nice scotch bonnet pepper to give it that extra kick and you know pimentos pimentos give your food such a nice flavor I brought these up from Jamaica. I just crushed them up in some paper towel and just sprinkle in there. Creative vegan sea moss gel. Now I put this in everything, right? So you add a little bit of sea moss gel to give the food um, some extra nutrients. You know, sea moss is loaded with nutrients. Just mix it around until the sea moss is dissolved. In a separate pan, I'm going to saute some garlic, onions, tomatoes, and some diced mushrooms. I'm going to saute that around and I'm going to season that up. You could combine this with the beans, but I feel like the flavor you get from um, like pan, um, pan frying first really makes a difference. So I just added some powdered seasoning to that, mix it up, and then I'm going to add some chopped peppers so these are just sweet peppers yellow and orange peppers now I'm going to remove the bean and potato mix and I'm going to add it to my mushroom mix right and you will get all that nice flavor from the tomatoes and the garlic and the onions and then all of that just infused into that mm. this is a meal all by itself you don't need to do much with it after that now I have some peppers um, bell peppers. I'm just gonna cut off the top and then we're gonna cut around the inside of it and take the seeds out, right? And then you know that little those little parts right there, we're just gonna remove that so that the peppers um, so that there's enough space to fill the peppers, okay? And I'm gonna do that with all of them. Now um, you should try to get peppers that lay flat uh, if you don't you have to like improvise but th the best thing is to try to make sure that the peppers kind of stand up or get a container that's snug enough so that the peppers stay upright look how beautiful these colors are it's good to eat a wide variety of different colors they always say eat the rainbow it the reason being is because each color actually provides a different nutrient so now i'm going to use some olive oil and i'm just going to rub it all over the peppers this will prevent the pepper from burning when you're baking it okay and we're going to put it in our little glass container and we're going to fill it up so i'm going to add a little bit of cheese and then we're going to add some more of the bean and potato mix right on top of it just like that make sure it's flat enough that you can sprinkle some more cheese on the top to get a nice crust now we're gonna do that for all the peppers the same method I actually did one with 
only um, the bean mixture because my daughter does not she don't like the cheese so you know when you're cooking for your family one likes one thing one way and the other one like it the other you know so you have to um, make sure everybody's happy so I made a cheeseless one for my daughter and the rest with the cheese for the rest of my family now I found some of these okras in my garden so I'm like okay there's every color in here that look nice except there's no green and green have to go with the red and the yellow all the time so I just sliced up some of the okra and put it in the pan and you know what too um, I just added a little bit of this organic exotic peppercorn blend it has a really nice rich flavor to it and then I just drizzle all of that with some olive oil yes and the okra actually helped to hold the peppers up because some of those peppers were not flat at all so they were wibbling and wobbling all over the place so take my hand and turn fresh and so we put that in the oven and this is how it looks when it came out the cheese is nice and melted not all vegan cheese melts so good that's something that you need to know when you become a vegan so it's nicely melted it smells good as you can see around the edges are nicely baked thank you for watching now don't forget to subscribe like and share have a blessed day peace and love